Hi, I'm Kenneth Russell, and I'm here doing a review of this GTX 23 Applause guitar. Uh, this was made, I believe, in the late 80s. Um, it's got a really cool looking finish on it. I believe the brand that made it was Kamen, K A M A N. Um, and uh, it's a made in Korea. It's got a pretty cool snakeskin finish on it, and uh, it's got a kind of an off white back. A um, couple things about it it has three pickups two single coils and one humbucker. The, uh, on here it says the, the model of the single coil is XK-110 and uh, the humbucker is XK-120. It has a, a Floyd Rose tremolo, which is really nice, um, and also some locking, uh, lock, a locking nut up here. A couple interesting things about the pickups. It has one volume, one tone knob for the guitar. However, uh, each one of the pickups you can turn on or off. Each, each one has their own on off switch, which is kind of neat. And uh, later on, I'll show you some kind of neat tones you can get out of that. It's a 22 fret neck and it is bolt on. The uh, tuners, interesting kind of design feature with this. You know, like on a Stratocaster, you know, you'd have your tuners that would be on the top side. And uh, this ends up, the tuners are on the bottom side, which is kind of a little unique has these inlays here on the, the fretboard. Looks kind of like a sail or something like that. Pretty decent guitar. I'm actually selling this one on, uh, I've actually already sold it for $200, um, which is probably pretty cheap for it. You might come across one for $250, $300, but uh, somewhere in the $200 to $300 range. And let me play some of the, the tones you can get out of this uh, to give you an idea of what it sounds like. I'm playing through uh, Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. All the, the tone knobs are, are put at uh, 12 o'clock. There's no reverb on there. So you'll hear as best as I can produce just a, a just the guitar coming out of this. First, let me show you what the, uh, the tone is like on all the pickups. <laughs> sound to it. Now I'm going to show you, uh, let me go ahead and give you the, the tone knob all the way down. Uh, 25%, 50%, 75%, all the way up. Uh, seems to be like a pretty drastic cut on the tone halfway through. There's like a very small point there where it, it goes from bright to warm. Um, the, uh, here's the volume knob lower. It affects the, uh, the brightness pretty, pretty uh, drastically. So for the rest of this, I'm going to just keep the volume and tone all the way up. Um, but uh, this has, so far I've just played with all three pickups on. Now I'm going to do one at a time. Here is the, uh, let's go, um, just the neck, uh, just the bridge pickup here, the humbucker. Right. Um, going to the the middle pickup. Still pretty bright. The neck pickup. Now all three of these individually are very bright pickups. Uh, it's kind of weird, but it's interesting when you combine um, the middle pickup with one of either the neck or the bridge, it warms it up. So here's like, for instance, here's just the, the neck pickup. Okay, I'm gonna throw in the middle pickup. It's weird because individually, both the middle and the neck are, are brighter than both of them together. I'm not sure how that works. Then even, uh, even the, alone the bridge pickup. Put in the neck pickup. It's got a really interesting sound. So you can get a very, uh, uh, it's very versatile guitar. You can get a wide range of tones from this and the different combinations of pickups. Uh, the Floyd Rose Tremolo is, is great to have. All three of these are on. Floyd Rose Tremolo, um, I mean, it's just... Right now, but uh, you can 
it has a spot for it. Um, overall, for the money, this is a great guitar. Um, you, you know, if you're looking to spend uh, two or three hundred dollars and get a good guitar that can do a lot of different things, this is a pretty good guitar for your money. Um, as, as compared, you know, this is about the, the the price used is what a lot of starter guitars are. So I would say this is definitely above um, a few steps above like a typical starter guitar, um, especially when you consider that you'll be able to play a lot of different styles of music with this guitar, depending on what combination of pickups you use. Um, you know, and if, if you like the snakeskin look, then, you know, if that's cool for you, then that's just a bonus. I think they also made this one with some sort of uh, lightning, I was like lightning bolts that went through it. Uh, it's like black and purplish lightning bolts that went through it. Uh, but overall, a pretty good, pretty good value for the money. Uh, I would recommend it if someone called me and said, "Hey, I found this guitar at uh, GTX 23, you know, for 200 bucks or 300 bucks." I'd say it's a pretty good bet for you to get that one. Um, I, I would recommend them to pick it up if that's a, the the type of guitar. If they can, to me, the the snakeskin is not as much of a bonus as it is to some people. Um, I'd feel kind of weird playing a snakeskin guitar because I feel like that's all that people would look at is the snakeskin guitar. But for some people, hey, that's right up their alley. But uh, anyway, the GTX 23 Applause uh, by uh, Cayman Music. And uh, it's a pretty good guitar for the money. So hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, check me out for some weather reviews of some different products and some uh, guitar lessons as well. My name is Kenneth Russell. Thank you so much.